What's up, marker heads? It's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley, and I am doing an illustration of a sloth and sunflowers, and I'm gonna get into talking about what it's for and why I did it, and where you can get something like it for yourself. If you wanna buy this illustration or get a commission similar to this with the floral animal theme going on, you can go to my store envy shop where I have all of my originals that I have for sale posted. And I also have some commissions over there that you can order. Um, if you do order a commission, I do want you to uh, kind of let me know what you want before you hit uh, buy or whatever it is because I really am, uh, dedicated to making something that you actually want and I don't want you to pay for it until you know I'm gonna make something that you want so definitely contact me before you want a commission but if you are ready to order something and you've already talked to me about it it's up there on my store envy shop uh, so I also want to tell you guys that you can get this on my red bubble if you don't know that I have a red bubble I have a red bubble <laughs> and you can find links to all of these places in the description below. Uh, the reason I made this illustration actually wasn't just because I have it up for sale, it's also because I made it as content for my new Skillshare series. I am doing a series of lessons on my Skillshare, which is a new thing. My first lesson is going live this month and I'm super excited about it. It's probably gonna be live in a few days uh, and it's going to talk about how to use Copic markers. Uh, the first lesson is about layering, but I'm going to be doing all kinds of topics from like how to do a background, how to use color theory with your markers, and even the, the basics like blending and things like that, and how you can utilize those simple techniques into a more complicated illustration. I'm really excited about it. I love doing tutorials, but doing them on YouTube really doesn't uh, have a sustainable, I guess, like platform. YouTube's not a sustainable platform for making tutorials because tutorials take like 20 to 40 hours worth of work, a lot of work. And for me, a smaller YouTuber, it's just not worth my time to make tutorials. But with Skillshare, it is a little more worth it because it does have a little bit more of a financial return and it's also a more in-depth, more interactive type of platform where I will be making uh, exercises that the students can do and also I can offer class projects that really make the lesson a little more effective. So it's worth your time to take the class and not just, you know, oh, here's a video and you don't really get a whole lot out of it. I'm really excited to do this. I have so many lessons planned. I have like really detailed, a binder full of really detailed lessons and everything that I need to do to make them so that I'm ready to film them. And there will be at least one per month, uh, probably more. And the Skillshare subscription platform is really great because you get access to not only my content, but a whole bunch of other teachers' content as well. Uh, however, I know that some people can't afford the Skillshare subscription. For me, I'm paying like $15 a month because I'm doing the month-to-month -month thing. I couldn't afford to pay the $99 up front, so I am paying more per month, but uh, less up front. Um, but there's some people who can't afford to pay even, you know, $15 or $99 at once. Uh, and so I'm also putting my lessons on Patreon, which they will be $5 a month on Patreon, but you'll still get access to all of the video content, all of the uh, downloadable, like, class materials that I have, and it's just going to be a little more affordable of a platform for some people and I also do get a little more profit if you use Patreon but the downside is that you guys don't see everyone else's content. You don't get to take other teachers classes, you only get to take my classes. Um, so if you do go with the Patreon option, I do really appreciate that because it does benefit me a little more but it may not benefit you as much. <laughs> um, but you will get access to every class that I've ever created. So say three months from now, 
you go to my Patreon and subscribe, you get access not only to that month's stuff, but to anything prior. Also, my Patreon stuff from, like, two years ago or whatever, last year. <laughs> That's also gonna be on there. Um, so if you're interested in either taking classes from me on Skillshare or Patreon, that is going to be available here really soon and I'm super excited about it and I hope that you guys understand why I'm moving from YouTube to Skillshare with my tutorials and I do want to let you guys know that I'm not leaving YouTube. I will still put my speed paints and discussion stuff on my YouTube channel and uh, I don't want you to think that I'm leaving YouTube at all. I'm not. But I am also making a new step towards I guess what I've always wanted to do, which was make tutorials and teach, and someday I'd like to make a how to draw book. And so making content like this, making tutorials like this on a platform that is, I guess, a more st sustainable, um, uh, viable option for me will benefit you guys in the long run because hopefully eventually there will be a book or eventually there will be a lot of tutorial content. Uh, I know for sure that I have so many ideas and so many tutorials planned that I am really jazzed for this and I hope you guys are too. So hopefully I haven't talked too long about the Skillshare thing. I just, I'm really excited about it and I hope that you guys check it out. If this is your first time watching my channel, please do subscribe and check out my social media links, which you can see here on screen and also in the description. And please check out the shout out for this week, which is Blue Moon Nika, who is an artist on YouTube and Twitter. And if you want a shout out also, use the hashtag HeyArtByKarenEHaley. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.